You know, there's this thing uh, in Norway called uh, Slow TV. The n two most popular TV shows for a while in Norway were a show about uh, a woman knitting a sweater Ooh. and a, a, a man stacking firewood. And people would watch this for hours and hours and hours on end. And we may not be there yet uh, here, but I want to bring some of that energy here. So, um, pandemic, mm -hmm. spending a lot of time alone with myself, my thoughts, never a good thing. Uh, and I'm also watching this weird History Channel reality show called Alone that is about these contestants who just go off into the woods with like 10 items and see how long they can survive. And it, something clicked for me. It's like, something in us is not okay. And by us, I mean all of us. Like, we're very disconnected from these primal things in us. And I started writing this show about a 16-year-old girl who kind of leaves her life inexplicably, doesn't really tell anybody where she's going, what she's doing, and she runs off into the woods. Um, and I think I realized it was kind of wish fulfillment for me. You know, it's like, uh, she was like an avatar for me, kind of something I wanted to do. Yeah, and Mel, what was your reaction when Mark came to you and said, I don't know if this is gonna work, but just take a look at this. Yeah, I mean, it, like Mark said, it spoke to me because I've grown up in nature, the love of nature. I've always felt a little, like something's missing, there's a hole in me, and I, when I feel the most fulfilled is when I'm in nature. And I think I'm constantly looking for silence in this fast-paced world. And, and I remember being 16 and that being a really pivotal point in my life of kind of stepping into adulthood and taking off and the internet becoming more a part of my life at that point. And, and I just, I miss the time before and I have nostalgia for that. What's it like being young actors who have to be super connected all the time? What's it like to be able to portray characters who are the opposite of that? I love it. I mean, I wish I could throw away my phone like Penelope did. <laughs> I think life would be so much easier. And like Mark and Mel were saying, it's nice to like have the idea of wanting to go back to a time that maybe I was not born in, but it definitely seems like something that is fun and freeing and you can do kind of whatever you want because nobody's taking pictures, nobody's taking videos. Can't really get in trouble for anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark, you kind of talked about the fact that this is the pilot, but yeah. you've written eight episodes, you yeah. said? What, what's the hope for Penelope? Yeah, so we did something kind of uh, crazy that is either going to look brilliant or really stupid, um, which is that we wrote and shot all eight episodes um, and kind of bring the model of independent film where you want to do it on your own to make sure you protect the creativity. We're bringing it right into TV, so, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, my hope is that uh, we premiere the show tonight and, and everybody goes crazy for the show and they say, this is the future of television, <laughs> right here. <laughs>